Hey everybody, today is Monday, March 15th. How is everybody doing? Updates, updates. I don't even know if there's any updates, but we went live anyway. We'll see if Capro has any updates. We have a huge update. We have WSOF coming. Come oh, that's on. True. That's true. I should have made this title WSOF updates. We have people coming left and right. It's going to be awesome. And so there's a lot of newbie newbies. So I want to go back over... Of course, we have a little bit of updates on Force Fan. We have a little bit of updates on JCB, but the the let's see, the meat and potatoes of this will be WSOF. Okay, cool. Will we do WSOF now or at the end? You, you tell me. You're the hef El Hefe, whatever you say, El Hefe. Yeah, let's El do Hefe. WSOF first. The first thing is, it's less than two weeks away. Are you getting excited, everybody? Do you got the tingles? Do you got the D-Gen tingles for you gamblers out there? Um, second thing is the escape room. I emailed a couple people that I had on the list. They have an escape room that fits 12 people. I think we have about eight. Oh, hang on. Somebody's calling, honey. Hang on. You tell them. Okay. So there's an escape room. <laughs> Little guy. Uh, oh, he fell. Okay. Okay. So they have an escape room at Caesar's Palace, and I think it's 40 something dollars. So Mike has contacted them and reserved the spot which I believe is Mike's going to verify all of this, but I believe it is two o'clock on uh, Saturday. And you, but you have to RSVP, RSVP beforehand and pay beforehand. So it's just going to be the spots until you pay. And then if it sells out, if you will, it's going to sell, sell out. Do what? Um, what are we talking about? What happened? The, the escape room. Let's say there's 13 people that want to do it. You're just yeah, taking right. the first 12, right? The first 12 that, well, no, the first 11, because I'm going. The first 11 oh. that pay. For me to reserve the escape room, and they have one called the playground that holds 12 people. One group is 12 people. They do it together. Uh, it, it, yeah, I've got to pay the entire amount, which is over $500. It's 42 bucks a person. 42 times 12 should be right around 501 or 502, somewhere around there, if I did it right. Uh, whatever. It's 42 bucks. So if you want to go to the escape room, you've got to send me that money now. You can't wait till World, World Series event. Now, if, we, if we're close, if we have one or two extra, I may just pay it and then see who wants to do it when the time comes up. But anyway, yeah, so email me. I'm not going to have anybody send the money yet. I want to make sure we have enough, which I'm pretty sure we will. So if Yeah, you some to people had said they were room, interested and there was lots, right? Yeah. If you want to go do an escape room, and this is that Saturday right, right around 2 p.m., I think they had 2.15 available over there at Caesars. Um, email me, and then I'll tell everybody when to hit go and pay all the monies so i can pay the monies over at the escape room yeah and okay. i want to go in order but jk pioneer said no escape room for me me neither and we are trying to get into a place but it's caused a little issue so we're going to be a little flexible we're all about flexibility yeah. but let's bring up the powerpoint from before because i kind of want to go in order and talk about well and i want to talk about some logistics some people are trying to get rooms and things like that logistics. and i just want to make sure you have all the information so if you have questions, and guys, I'm um wax sealing right now, so Logistics. I'm going to be looking down quite a bit. You're um, waxing what? I'm funny, <laughs> inappropriate. So okay, so right. Friday night mm. is the kickoff. Right. The cabinet of curiosities, we call it the cabinet. Take this down for a second. Let's talk about the cabinet. So the cabinet is a kooky little speakeasy. Kooky. Um, it holds about 40 to 50 people. It has... QR codes on some really kind of weird and eclectic things all throughout relics and bones and I don't know, weird stuff. And then there's a reserved speakeasy in the back. We're going to be in the front. Drinks are pretty expensive. They're 20 to $25 yeah. a piece. Um, but we do the kickoff there. You don't have to get a drink. Um, most people do. We get one drink there and we kind of kick off the night. Um, the cool part about us flipping everything is you're going to get your program there. You're going to get your, if we do a poker chip, which I'm trying to get all done now. I have too many things to do before WSOF. But um, that will occur Friday at, we said, 5 o'clock, right? Yeah, 5 p.m. Everybody's meeting at the Cabinet of Curiosities at the Horseshoe at 5 p.m. Friday, April 26th. Be there or be late. I guess. So it's on the escalators at the other side um, of the near the the uh, what's the, the tower called? Court. What's that? What's the tower? Oh, it's Resort next to where the old Buca de Beppo's used to be, or where the Binion Steakhouse is. Just ask yeah. everybody. Where's the cabinet of curiosities? They'll tell you how to get there. 
Yeah. So, and we'll just kind of kick off chit chat. I want to meet every single person. So if you want to come and say hi, I want you to come say hi. Some people are like, I, I'm a lurker. I don't want to, uh, yeah, come over and say hi. We want to get you the program. We want to make sure we have had people lost before and not getting to the right spot because we didn't do the programs until Saturday. See, we flipped it now. You see, we're refining every single time. So that is Friday. Then everybody's going to head up at about 6.30 to the poker room. It's upstairs. Um, if you want to stay the closest to the poker room, that's actually the Vers Versailles suite. It's actually Paris. Paris is the hotel now, even though it's on the horseshoe side. So that will be um, 6.30 is when you head up there. The main thing to know is you don't give us any of that money. That is done by the Nevada um per the Nevada Gaming Board, and that is done through um, the the horseshoe. So the money all goes to the horseshoe. You pay, you get in our tournament. That's and right. And we'll, we'll, we'll help you make sure that you get bought in. Um, but you need an RSVP on that because they won't have enough dealers if we have a whole bunch of people come out of nowhere. So please let us know if that is the case. Go ahead. So Cynthia wants to know, when is the Sapphires event? And for anybody who doesn't know, there's a mine out here. You go mine for Sapphires. Oh. So we'll see if we can maybe do that Saturday night, Cynthia. We'll see. Okay. So that is, okay. So then what happens afterwards? So if you guys know how a poker room works, there's going to be um, rebuys where you can enter multiple times. It's $100. If you want to, you don't have to. And you need cash. I think they take credit card now, but I'm not sure. Then you go to the back. Hey guys, you go to um, you go to the inside the poker room. You play until you're out. You can rebuy as many times as you want, and then you will be heading to either the rail. Once enough people are out, some people like to watch the game all the way until the end. Some people like to head over and get us reserve uh, spaces over at karaoke and all of that. It's whatever you feel like. So once you head over there, that is at Ellis Island. And we don't know what time that's going to start. Ellis Island is really cool because it's one block from mm -hmm. uh, the Horseshoe. It is walking distance, literally. You can you could probably get an Uber there. It'll probably be $2. I mean, it's literally, for me, walking distance, so it's fine. Um, and it has $5 craps, $5 gambling. They have a uh, $10 steak dinner. They have a sports bar. They, they have, have mimosas. Karaoke. They got they all kinds what? of stuff. They have mimosas. They have all kinds of stuff. They have endless they mimosas. Yeah. 24-hour cafe if you want a little bite to eat. So, yeah, yeah. it'll be a lot of fun. Pope, and that so. turns into um, usually we have kind of a, a crew that will uh, peel out um, by then and maybe want to get peel some out. sleep. There's some people that uh, it's a 24-7 uh, casino. So um, it it goes on, I'll just tell you, most of the night. That is where a lot of tea is spilt, as they say. I'm um, sorry, I'm continuing to do invitations. So you have you ordered yours? Look what I'm doing. See, <laughs> She's I'm making doing them, them, guys. I'm literally making them. We sold out of the first batch. Um, okay, so Ellis Island is fun because it is such a small casino. What do you think? It holds maybe two or 300, Mike? Yeah, yeah, I guess. I don't know. They're actually, yeah. it's, actually, it's under construction. They're expanding it. They're expanding the casino. So okay. I don't know what we haven't been there since they've started expanding it, but I read that I saw it on the news. So I don't know what'll be open and what won't, oh. but we'll figure it out when we get there. Well, my point like is we always do. If you're at the horseshoe, you could be at the horseshoe and not run into anyone that, you know, right. if you are at the Ellis Island, you will run into searchers uh, yeah. it, and it's you'll smaller. see, usually we kind of right. hit pockets. There was a group of us at the sports book. There was a group that went over to karaoke. Some people gambled. Some people went to steak dinner uh, some people went to slots. There's only one kind of slot area. So just know that you have some flexibility when it comes to what you want to do there. And it's just mixing and mingling. This is where people spill their tea. This is where all the secrets happen. You buy a little drink, drink for Cynthia, and she might start a talking. You don't know. I'm going to wear, <laughs> never mind, never mind. So say I was going to wear a certain t-shirt, but never mind. So, yeah, the cabinet, 5 p.m., the horseshoe poker room, 6.30, poker tournaments at 7 p.m. Whenever that's done, we're all going to go to Ellis Island. Boom, that's Friday night. Easy Ellis Island and fun. still has millions upon millions to win. See what he did there? There it is. They have a mega box team. That's, that's true. That gets the, the vote for the funniest searcher. No hot tub, LOL, somebody said. I thought real sapphires, bummer. Ah, that's, maybe next year, Lorraine. Actually, you know, they, they actually here in Nevada, I think they have an emerald mine where you can go mine. That would There's be a couple. 
there's a couple. Okay. So from there, everybody goes to sleep, figures out where they where, where they're gonna or don't stay. go to sleep. It's up to you. It's Vegas. <laughs> Yeah, some people don't. Some people do. Some people pass out in a bathtub and wake up in someone else's hotel room. Some people get um, really drunk on Fremont Street, but I'm not doing that this year. But this is cool because the year we did that, Fremont Street was Friday night, and I was wrecked for the poker tournament the next day at 1 p.m. <laughs> this time, we're excuse. getting the poker tournament out of the way, so you can get drunk Friday night, and it's okay because you don't really have anything you have to do on Saturday. So. This will be interesting to see how it goes. The other thing, what I want to remind everybody is it's 80 degrees out here, everybody. It's, pools it's are, all the pools are open. Yeah, all the pools are open. So there you go. If you want to go dry out and sober up, you go hit the pool. But um, when we go to Fremont Street, it's going to be nice weather. It's going to be shorts and T-shirts weather. I mean, look, in the years previous, when we do it in February, everybody's bundled up with, uh, you know, scarves and gloves on. But no, it's going to be nice, nice weather. So dress accordingly. Yeah. So here's the important thing. Where you're going to stay. Every single year, we have people come out without arrangements of where to stay. It's expensive to stay in Vegas. It There is unsafe areas, but at least have an area to stay. Some people ask to stay with us because we do get a bit bigger suite some years. We don't know if we're going to this year because rooms are more expensive. We don't allow anyone to stay in our rooms because usually we have our kids with us. And then I did get the, but then I'm just going to have to walk around the casino all night. I consider myself a pretty generous person, but this is one that I draw a hard line. If you can't survive in Vegas, don't come to Vegas. It's really hard because different people feel, um, uh, they feel like they need to then find a room. Do they provide someone a room? Do they have a room with them, but then they don't know them? In my opinion, you don't do that, but everybody's an adult and I let them work it out. But I will tell you, find a room beforehand. The cheapest, I think, safe alternative it's absolutely Ellis Island. Ellis Island's awesome. Hillary and Tree stayed there two years ago, and I went and met their dog. Um, so I was able to go and see the uh, see the room. It's a nice room, and it's there's no resort fee. I don't think, and it's the cheapest yeah. because the thing is with the horseshoe. If you stay at anybody anywhere on the strip, they charge what's called a resort fee. It's a little bit of a hidden fee, and I've heard it's like forty five dollars. Uh, I don't pay for it, so yeah, it I, I had to look it up. <laughs> Yeah, it's expensive, guys. So just be aware, add 50 bucks a night to your bill if you are staying at any of the casino resorts. So one of the things that we could do, which I actually just didn't think about till just now, but the very next day, you know, 2 p.m., no, noon at the food court, and then 2 p.m., escape room, and then that night, Fremont Street. But sometime in there, if anybody gambles and they have a Caesars card, but they really want a diamond card, me or Capro can show you the easiest way to get that diamond card. Yeah. Now, it costs money. There's This isn't any kind of cheating or anything. It's like paying for a diamond card instead of actually gambling the traditional way. So we can show you how that works. Yeah, and but it's pretty cheap it how, how we – and we got it from another diamond searcher. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll show you how to do it. But, I think okay. I just said demon card. No, I meant a diamond card, although maybe Sin City it could be a demon card. Uh, so yeah, if anybody's interested in that, if you're, you know, it's a new year, but if your level is like right below diamond, we can show you how to get the points up there pretty quick. Because when you have diamond, you have a separate check-in line. You don't pay resort fees. You have a celebration dinner. There's a lot of things you get. You get uh, to go to the top of the poker line. You get free parking. You, know, you get two lots. free high roller tickets. Now, who's going on the high roller? Who's going to see the sphere? All yeah. right. There is so, a resort now, fee at Ellis here Island. Here is the other cool Brown. part. We've had issues in the past of bringing all the stuff down. And then people having to truck it back that night. Do they go to Ellis Island first, et cetera? What's going to happen is at the end of, and this is why all donations need to come to me beforehand, because I think we're going to be able to pay the top, the last table, which is the top nine. So if you come in ninth, I'm going to give you a list of the all the items and you number them what you want, one through nine. And then if you come in eight, same thing. And what I'll do is if you came in first at the award ceremony the next day, you are going to get your first choice. Now, the second person, as long as the first person hadn't requested your item, then you get the second item. If they did take your item, then you're going to get the item that you wanted second, et cetera, et cetera. So we're not going to have to do those logistics in the poker room. And we're not going to have to worry about putting everything aside. And we were at Bally's back when it was Bally's and, and now it's Horseshoe. Back when they had extra tables, we could just put all of our prizes on. They are a rocking room now. It is not possible for us to take one just for all of our. So 
that is our creative way. And it will help you not have to go back up to your room. We will get everybody their items on Saturday, which is kind of a win-win, a as they say, in the poker world. Right? Breaking news, there is a resort fee at Ellis Island. It's $33 oh, is per night. Yeah. Oh, okay. So. Yeah. Wow, that's hey guys, it's expensive. We're thinking of moving back to um, so that, or if you're going out, you can, but don't we're okay. thinking of moving it back to February next year because it is a more expensive in April. But right. let's get through this one first, and we'll figure out next year. Yeah. So okay. Okay, Ooh. so that is Friday night where you're gonna stay. So Ellis Island, um, most of the events are happening at the horseshoe, so you can stay at the horseshoe. Mm -hmm. I would say the after party will start about 10. It goes at least until two or three or four in the morning for at least some. Um, so that's Friday. In the wee hours of the morning, we're sleeping. But what we consider early morning in Vegas, noon is when the award ceremony starts. We are going to have a formal presentation this year. Uh, we do have um, someone that wants to come and sell some books. They are going to be there. Um, we have a couple of statements from some people that you might know. Our books um, are going to be for sale. The invitation will be for sale. If it's not found by then, we'll see. Um, we'll we have a question. Nancy Z, our old friend, <laughs> I call her, um, never mind. I say I call her under the bench, but, uh, is there an oh, actual that cast? Nancy yeah, Z. That Nancy Z yeah. <laughs> it was, it was meant to be your last name. Z. Uh, is there an actual cash winner? Or is it just your prizes? No, there is an actual cash winner. So this tournament that the horseshoe is doing for us is just like every tournament they do. Out of the hundred dollar buy in seven, they keep twenty five because that's how it works. But seventy five dollars goes to the payouts. So depending how many people rebuy, um, for the first three hours or so, you can rebuy. But then it's a freeze out. Then they cut it off at the first break. No more rebuys. Then it's a freeze out, and then they show the the places and the payouts. So yes, the money will get paid out. The casino handles that, all that. It's not me or Capro doing any of that. They handle yeah, it and, like they do every other tournament they run. And if you have a friend buy in and they know kind of what we're doing, they're up for the prizes. But we do, they cannot preclude anyone because you can't have private um, like home games. So we have always had one or two people. They can come up and if they hear about it, they don't advertise our tournament, but people figure it out. And we've always had a couple people buy in. If they win, we don't tell them and we don't put them in the prize pool. We've never had that happen, but we don't put them in the prizes that we do. Right. So you still get all the benefits. It's just like a regular traditional Vegas tournament with the cash part, which the casino does. And then all the extra prizes is what we do. But if you have a friend that's coming with you, some people are like, well, that person wasn't a searcher. That doesn't matter. They're a part of the group. So they are in the yeah. prize pool. But anyone else, uh, um, any of the randos, they, they don't get it. Randos. Randos. A lot of randos in Vegas. Randos. Um. What was I going to say, K-Pro? I don't know. Remember the Chinese couple the one year? They didn't even understand English well enough yeah. for us to tell them. Yeah. And they kind of they bought oh. in, but they, they went a packing. They went I remember. So remember, you got to email me for the escape room, but I need everybody to email me if you're in the poker tournament or not. I've got to tell Michael, the tournament manager, or the poker room manager, I should say, over there at the Horseshoe, how many tables we need. Are we going to have 20 people playing poker, or are we going to have 55 people playing poker? So a lot of people have already said, yeah, but Verify it. Email me. And a lot of you haven't emailed me. Like, I'm assuming Nemo and, uh, and uh, USA China and um, Doc Fenn, you're all coming, but you haven't actually emailed me to tell me that. So, again, even if you're like, I'm there every year, I need to know so I can get the head count. So, if you're playing poker, please shoot me an email and just say this many for poker. Like, you know, Sam, is Janet going? You know, I, I don't know these things because you haven't told me. So, all right. Yeah. Uh, okay. The guy, yeah, the guy last year ended up with a book someone gave to him. I think it was a guy who wasn't a treasure hunter, but somebody was like, "Here, take the, the thrill of the chase book." You remember? That might, was that last year or two years ago? Yeah, I think it was last year. Andrew oh. remembers. I remember too. I remember that kid. So that's how the poker tournament works. The dealers are really easy. They tell you, you know, what do I bet? How do I raise? They'll go over all that with you. And everybody tips are encouraged. So everybody who plays, you know, you try and tip a little bit to the dealers they have to split it the dealers split all the tips yeah they pool their tips. we'll go over all that fun stuff when yeah. we get but that's it. the cool part about doing the cabinet of curiosities before i will say this to you if you think you have a stupid question it's impossible so ask me anyway except your solve mike likes to hear those i don't so <laughs> if you have a question about the poker tournament ellis island where are people going what's going ask 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 please i will say um somebody asked can i bring my kiddos 
if your kiddos are over 21, yes. Most of our events are 21 only area. You can't even have your kids in the poker area. Right. I've tried. I've gotten into trouble. Um, my, my little guy, now he's a bigger guy, but my little guy tried to come through and they're like, he can't even walk in here. So they are pretty strict about that. Okay. So then we're heading to the food court on Saturday, wee hours of the morning, which is considered noon. <laughs> right. Um, the nice part about that is there it's relatively cheap. Now, relatively cheap, mm. I think you can get a foot long sub at Subway for 18 bucks. So it's still <laughs> it's it's not, but it's not a hundred dollar meal. Um, and we usually just take over one side. Um, I am gonna have there is gonna be a drawing. Everybody that comes, they get some tickets. Um, and then you're going to put your tickets in what you particularly would like. So we are going to do a little bit more um, prizes for the people because we are starting to get balance between um, the people that play poker and the people that don't. It used to be almost everybody played poker. And then, it, you know, now it's a lot less. Um, so we want to make sure everybody has um, an opportunity. And we'll so, explain all the tickets and everything noon. Make sure you yeah. get there on time. Make sure you get there at noon because we're going to do this ticket thing for prizes. The people that won the poker tournament get to pick their prizes and all that fun stuff. Unless you're doing that the night before, K-Pro. We'll, we'll figure no, it out. No, no, no. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. Not a $100 subway. More like a $12 subway is about right. Um, yes, but it is a little, it's more expensive than because you think about, oh, subway. I know that that's a $5 foot long. No, not on the strip. It's a little bit more expensive. It's not horrible, but oh. it's a little bit more expensive. Okay. Um, okay. Now we're getting to, so I think we'll go about an hour. People will be chit chat. We'll probably start about 12, 15, um, about probably 12, 10. And we go probably about a half an hour. So by one o'clock, you're going to have time to take your items. If you want something up to the room. Um, kind of get situated because by two o'clock, Mike and I are splitting. They're called concurrent sessions. We're splitting, splitting. Okay, go ahead, Mike. Yeah, so uh, Caesar's Palace, we're going to walk over. Any of you, you know, maybe you don't want to walk. You know, it's just across the street, but it's Vegas. You've got to go down this escalator, walk all the way to Strip, cross over, cross over this escalator. You just have to get over to the forum shop. So if you need to take an Uber or cab, or if you have your own car, go ahead and do that. But I'm going to walk it. Cause I'm good like that. And uh, anybody else that wants to walk over there with me, uh, probably about one 30, we will head over there. So it's a nice leisurely walk. Um, You're not going to stumble this year. Like you did at Fremont. No, <laughs> I can't drink like that. Although who knows? Maybe I will. Uh, all depends. Uh, anyway. Uh, and I will make the final table this year. Here's a prediction. I got to make that final table this year. Um, the old red bar. I don't know. Yeah. You're going to try and do that. But of course we're just going to go over there and see, the backup plan is Gio Daniels, where we've met in the past. We'll be there. There's a lot of different places to eat. I mean, people probably already ate at the food court, but if it's just a place to hang out. And people will break off. I bet you some people are going to go boots on the ground. I bet you people are going to do different things, and that's fine. But well, but here's the big thing mm -hmm. I wanted to say. Yeah. The Old Red, we've tried to get into several times. Old Red is new. So it is currently, unfortunately, tough to get into. It is actually launching this weekend where it is available to everybody. And so I've heard they're packed. I got one of the special invites to the one of the kickoffs because I'm on their newsletter, but it's kind of an invitation only. And then they're supposed to open next week. There is a chance we're going to try to get into Old Red like Mike and I did last week. And they're like, private party, sorry. Yeah. If that happens, we're just going to be down at the, they call it the bazaar shops. There's a taco place that Susie and Candy and I went to the one night and uh, Carter and a few others. There's Mark Wahlberg's and they have some beer. There's a place for shots. There's a Junior Nios, Gianios, Giordano's. Giordano's. There's I'm all of those Italian. different ones. Yeah. Or am I? So um, just know that we will be around down there if we're not actually in Old Red. But so here's they wanted a hundred dollars ahead for uh, for to reserve it, and we just yeah, it's too much. Yeah. Well, here's the other thing which we did not put on here is 7 p.m. is Fremont Street. So I guess we really want to meet at 6.30. But where are we going to meet, Capro? I don't think we've actually said that. Yeah, I have it on the... I don't see it. Well, then it's on the program that oh, I've made. Oh, Lord. All right, let me... Oh, Lord. There. Somehow we're going to oh, get yeah. through this. We're going to try and take a party bus. Party hardy, Marty, down yeah, so. to Fremont Street. Right. Um, so you have to be down, and you have to be down by 6.30 into the lobby. Right. Because at 7 is when we're leaving. Mike then at about 6.45... We'll see how many we have to see, do we need one party bus, two party buses? 
how much is it if Easy. we divide it out? How much is it? Kind of. We've only done one it. party bus in the past. In the past, that's um, not true. But, no, we've only done one, one there and back. But anyway, okay. it doesn't matter. Okay, uh, there I was the one, many... the one year that Amy danced and yeah. Copper Dan licked people. There's that year. Then right. there was the year that Jana gave her thing to Brent John and Brent and John missed drunk, the party yeah. bus. That's two. Yeah. No, no, no. I meant not two party buses to go to Fremont Street at the same oh. time. We only had one bus. In other words, God. I don't know how many people the bus holds. I think it's 20, but it I depends. 20. 20 and there is a cost happen. associated with that. But I will let everybody know because if you have a car or maybe you. So here's the deal. Here's how it's going to work. The party bus will take us down to Fremont Street at the container park. What I'm going to do is tell them two hours later, we're going to go back. So what we're going to do is go to the one side of Fremont Street, slowly walk down and look at the freak show and take pictures and all that to the other side of the Fremont Street to the plaza. And then he will take us back. But that's two hours. Some people may be like, I don't want to be down here two hours. Maybe it's not your thing. So you have to be at the other side at 9 p.m. because he's not going to wait. We get on the bus and we go. But so you may want to go on your own. There's the Deuce bus. There's there's Uber. There so people have their own car. There's all that fun stuff. But we, we literally had someone running for the bus because yeah. we had to leave, or he made he gave us a choice: either all of you get out, or yeah. I'm leaving. I'm leaving sure. either way, and I'll drive you there. But I'm leaving. And we were told he was coming, and he was running towards the bus. We had him stop. It was a mess. So we have to stay on time for that one. That's the one. We can't, yeah, we can't do any, yeah. So when you say the lobby, you're talking about the hotel lobby, correct? Yes, 630? Yeah. Lobby. yeah. Hotel lobby at 630, guys. All right. But again, we'll go over all this noon on that Saturday. At the food and you're going to get a program that you can keep with you, that you, and we will be updating our Discord. We'll be updating. We'll go live. If you don't want to be a part of live and taking pictures, we, we respect that. We can't really control anyone else, but we'll go live um, and we'll, 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 We'll let you know where we are and what we're doing. So yeah, Fremont Street's a blast. If you have not been, it is hilarious. We start at one end, go to the other. Crazy, some people right? like the live music. Some people like the freak show. Some people like the art. Uh, there's lots of art. There's a dispensary there. So a lot of people like that. Um, there's something for everyone, let's just say. And then when we come back at nine, we could do Ellis Island again. We could go to the strip club. We could do a lot of things. So I think people are going to break off and do their own thing. So, because so I hear somebody's birthday is that time. Is is he? Is it for sure he's showing up? Uh, so yeah, there's you know we'll I don't figure know if he's out. showing up single, so I'm staying out of that <laughs> until we figure out what is allowed or know. not allowed to be done. Sad horn so, on the strip. Though. I'm gonna right. say no. I well, I don't. Um, I'm just gonna say we'll start at Ellis Island and then yeah. see where. I mean, but when you have somebody as famous as so as such an influencer as Rudy with his stick. And he is turning 40. So we are, we have committed to a celebration of his choice. So we don't know what will happen once we get back to Ellis Island. I'm yeah. sure people, karaoke was a hit. People had a karaoke game. goes till 5 a.m. At, yeah. at Ellis Island in the little area. So, and then some people get together for breakfast Sunday and all that. Feel free to invite <laughs> me in K Pro, but I can't guarantee we're going to get up for it. So we actually have to get up and check out that day. So we're going to be heading back home. But if people are, some people stay until Monday, we could always head back down and, you know, hang out with some people, maybe for dinner or something. That's usually what we end up doing and uh, figure it out. Yeah, the Horseshoe Lobby. And Debbie Teal, make sure you email me for the escape room, okay? You got to email me, please. Uh, so, yeah, there was a gentleman in a wheelchair a few years ago. Yep. Was that Brad? Yep. Oh, yeah, in the scooter. Yeah, it was Brad. So, yeah. Uh, uh, your mom was in a scooter. So, I mean, it yeah. Yeah. You can be immobile in Vegas and you have a lot of mobility options. You have to pay for some of them with scooters and things, but Vegas is really good about that. Actually, they have a, the bigger issue. They have a lot of drunk 20 something people that buy those scooters yeah. and then they go straight into the Bellagio. Right. One of our people, do you remember Dave? Harris? Yeah, yeah, that's that's right. <laughs> the friend he brought, I think. I don't know if she got kicked out. She got kicked off the scooter anyway. Yeah, I do remember that. Yeah. And that's when you had that uh, scavenger hunt that you never gave the solution to. Isn't that right, Lorraine? I gave the solution, I thought. <laughs> uh, not that I remember. Uh, let's hope there's a solution to the invitation once it's over. No, there will be. There'll be a full solution, everybody. Um, to invite John Collins Black to speak. Yeah, well, we might. I think the next one in February, his book comes out October, and then we do a get, a, get together in February. That would be the time to ask him to come by, I think. 
I have asked him if he is a part of his book tour will come through Vegas, we would do a mid-year WSOF. Yeah. So or I've asked his people. I haven't heard back from him. I know he's still organizing that. That is an option. We could do a WSOF in late October. It's still gorgeous out of here. Uh, sometimes our Halloweens are hot. So um, meaning temperature wise, it's still really nice here. So. And then of course we will have the invitation for sale in person. Anybody wants to buy one, Andrew, I got yours for you to pick up. Okay. That's the world series of Fen. Uh, let me go through the rest of the, just in case somebody has not seen this before. Well, okay. Go ahead. Or unless you got something else to go over. I was going to go through the rest of the PowerPoint real quick, just so they could see it and look at it. When okay. They... I was going to say logistics. So go ahead. Which is next, right? Yeah. I think that's what this is. Yeah. There's okay. the shoe, Flamingo, Caesar Palace, Ellis Island. Yeah, so when people ask me, where would you stay? Ellis Island's the cheapest, even with the resort fee. They're still going to be a little less. Flamingo's right across the street. They may be a little cheaper. Horseshoe, and then Caesar's Palace. Some people ask me for a higher version. Paris, I think, is great. The Versailles Tower is actually what we're used to being the Jubilee Tower at Horseshoe. I love it. Just upgrade to a higher suite is what I would say. Um, so, but those are the options that, but how to get there, do not walk from the airport to the strip. It is <laughs> like the most dangerous did. walk. My brother did it for the wedding because we, we crazy. had some logistical issues. It is literally the most dangerous um, crime-wise statistic in Vegas. There is, an, there's flat rates. The taxis, I think it's 19 bucks or 20 bucks. Um, to get to the strip, it's standard. There's Uber, there's shuttles, there's all of that. So please do not walk. And I, I would suggest took everybody, picked them up and dropped them off, and that was a disaster too. So I'm not going to commit to that because there's too much going on. But I would suggest not staying at the Silver Sevens. Uh, I've been in there in many years. The last time I was there, reminded me of Eight Mile. If that tells you anything, Tuscany is a better choice, but Tuscany is further down. It's a little bit of a walk between Tuscany and Horseshoe. You could stay at Tuscany, but I would suggest taking an Uber to the Horseshoe. So Tuscany's okay. I've stayed there before a long time ago. All right, there's the hotels. There is a Motel Six, which is all the way down by MGM Grand. And I would again, not recommend it. Yeah, it's pretty shaky as well, uh, for sure. Oh, there's some prices. Who knows if that's changed since you put this PowerPoint together, but people can figure it out themselves. Yeah, well, the resort fee part sure did. It sounds yeah. like I haven't checked it, but I believe. So $45 per night on a strip casino, Ellis Island, $33 per night resort fee. That's just the way it is. Uh, Uber, Lyft, shuttles, taxi, all that fun stuff. Um, yeah, I just went over that. So flat rates, 25. Do not walk. Highest crime rate. Please do not walk. And also it depends on where you're staying because the strip is long strip um, of how much the, but they'll have it all posted. You won't get taken advantage of, um, at least when it comes to taxis. And they all have standard areas. And it's a little confusing because you actually have to go down to get your, um, to get your baggage, but then you go back up like two for Uber, one for taxis. They have them all on different, floors so it will be busy when you get there uh there's no question no matter when you come in anytime you come in thursday or friday maybe wednesday won't be so bad tuesday and wednesday is actually the slowest <clears throat> anywhere from thursday and then you know of course people are leaving by sunday and monday it's busy 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 so i do i'm not seeing the chat guys i'm on my last invitation and then i'll try to look at the chat so yep so yep, yep. Shiloh said, the more the merrier for World Series of Fen. He wants everyone to go and get along. Well, that's cool, which is what yes. happens every year. So there you go. Yes, so this is awesome. the cabinet, guys. Check out yeah. that car. It's pretty awesome. There's all these cool things. That's why it's called the cabinet. It has all these cabinets uh, that you can see all cool stuff in. There's some of the drinks. Well, $10 for a drink. So you yeah, there are some. It's, not, poor. it's no. not bad in comparison to upstairs. Your standard drink is like $14 to $18. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit less expensive down there. There's the poker room. That's what it looks like. hundred dollar buy-in unlimited rebuys for the first, I believe it's three hours. It might only be two hours. I can't remember. Prizes are twofold. There's the cash prize, but then there's the prizes we're going to give. And you said K pro at the poker event, you're going to have a picture of the prizes. So people know what's available. Yes. Right. Okay. All right. And if you're donating, I saw JK Pioneer said he will donate some silver for the non poker player drawing. That's great. Yeah. I need to know if you have a strong preference one way or another. The escape room. 
Uh, yep, forty one ninety nine. That's true, forty two bucks. So remember, email me, and I'll let you guys know when to pay, and we'll get that set up. The escape room we're gonna do is called the playground. Do not look up the answers, everybody. Well, if they're out there, I don't know yeah, if they cheaters. are. But... Now there is a there is a trailer where you can see what it is. You're like in a classroom, which I think is apropos. Okay, um, Fremont Street. Wait, wait, go back. That was old red. Old red. If we can wait, get in, that's who owns it, guys. So, and supposedly, like the first week or two, he just goes up there and will belt out a song, like in the middle of because they have live music constantly there, which I just think is awesome. So there you go. There you have it. There it is. All right. If we can get in, if not, we'll be hanging out in the. It's called the promenade out there on the strip, and a lot of people might just want to walk the strip and look at the sights. Right. Which is fine. It's fun. Cynthia did. Fremont Street. Helicopter. There's yeah. a zip line on Fremont Street. You can get crazy. It's just how much money do you want to spend, and how much do you want to get crazy? That's all. There's the food court, Subway, Shabaro, Nathan's Hot Dogs, whatever that is down there. You know, Shabaro is where I usually go. Uh, Ellis Island. There's Candy doing karaoke. <laughs> uh, it, it is a microbrewery, so they have the beers on draft. I thought that got shut down. Uh, no, nah, I don't know, actually. I, they still have draft of some kind, so who knows? Yes, they still have it. They just don't actually yeah. uh, make it on site anymore. They, they have, have a steak special. Store. If you have a player's card for like twelve ninety nine. No, and the player's card's free, guys, so you definitely go and get it. What happened to the inheritance escape room? You can only fit eight, and we have more than eight, so I went with the 12 candy are you going to the escape, escape room candy you need to I email thought she me. said last time she was she was in but chat she room. hasn't emailed me you got I mean, uh -oh, email she's me, in trouble email. Ooh, candy's in trouble and the paris bowl is open i've confirmed confirmed okay um yeah it's gonna be hot dress appropriately what do i need in vegas you need money you need a plan yeah, you need a credit card, guys. The, the casino is like Ellis Island requires a hundred dollar deposit. You will get it back. It's for the incidental. Well, a hundred dollar deposit on a credit card. If you have a debit card, they don't take that. So there's been some issues with some people in the past. So make sure you know you have to have an actual credit card. So that's a that's a big deal. That's a big deal. Okay. And yeah, there's, um, I'll just say shenanigans in general. I think Vegas is the safest place to be because if you're in a casino or you're on the Fremont Strip, but you need to be aware, there's pickpockets. I've never had the issue. There's searchers that are a little questionable if I say so myself. So just be aware of your surroundings. This is like any time when you travel. Um, is it kid friendly? I don't think so. I could probably bring yeah. them to the food court. That would be the only thing. Um, yeah. I don't think Fremont Street is kid friendly. I agree. Um, I will out. tell you at about six o'clock. I took David to do the zip line, which was super fun at 530. By the time we started leaving, it was just dusk. And I remember David going, I think he was 13. He said, Mom, I just saw boobies. And I said, Yeah, it's time <laughs> for us to go. So their clothes are kind of optional down on Fremont. Um, yeah. So now are you allowing people to give you prizes at the cabinet? If you tell me beforehand what's coming and I can get them on our like setup. Oh yeah. Yes. How you can do that. But just showing up and saying, here's something I won't have any way to do anything. So you have to organize beforehand. So you have to tell us beforehand, please. Yeah. Just email me or K pro. We'll figure it out guys. And we appreciate everybody that donated something. What you did, did, did what you need to do right now. You got RSVP with me, cow lasers at gmail.com. You got to Get our VP for the escape room, for the poker, and for Fremont Street. Those are the three things I need to know. Um, flight arrangements, that's all on you guys. Figure it out. Now, you guys know in the past, me and K-Pro have tried to get a suite. I don't know if we're going to be able to get one this year. So, don't know if we're going to be able to do that. that yeah, because like, we moved it to those. April. It's like over $1,000 a night. Yeah. And usually we shell out a few hundred dollars a night, but uh, it's over $1,000 a night for the suite that we want. Not even the, the penthouse. It's right. just one of the suites that we usually get. So a um, couple thousands. Yeah, that's a little bit tighter. And we're already shelling out all this, all this prizes for the, yeah. Well, so um, we don't think that'll happen, but if you have a suite and you want to invite some people, invite us. <laughs> yeah. If you have a place to hang out, we'll come. And again, when I, uh, when I check in, you know, I'll try and pull the cow lasers routine with a little $20 trick. So you never know, never say never. Because Goonies never say die, but sometimes 
you don't get what you want, but you get what you need. Yeah, this is actually the seventh year these are going on. This, the first annual WSOF was in late 2018 when I met Mike and he's like, I play poker. I said, let's go get a poker game going. And we went to Walmart and got a thing of chips and there we were. So, and I will say, if you win a prize, you need to be responsible for um, any of the shipping. We've had issues and expenses and all of that. So when you, if you win, you have to remember, I have to ship this. Uh, what does that look like for me? We have people from all over the country. So make that aware. So, okay, I'm just starting to look at chat. Is there any other questions that I can answer? Um, so this is seventh annual WSOF. This is the first year of, I'm gonna call it the game and you will see why when you get yeah. your items. Um, and yeah, there'll be two drawings, one or one drawing, um, set of drawings and then one, and we've had lots of donations. I'll go over that maybe next week. Um, if we can, so we've gone 40 minutes. Is that good on WSOF? Cause we have yeah. updates on JCB and we have updates on, uh, the oh, that's good for WSOF. All right, go. What else we got? So JCB, if you bring up Mike, the go to Amazon and you bring up his, his book. Um, yeah. You know how both the Frost pages were there? I checked last yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it changed? It changed. What is this guy doing? Where? So I think it was a boo-boo, and he corrected it. Both of them were up there for a little bit, and the old one came down. I emailed him and said, why would there be both there? Like, is both of these going to be in the book? Which makes zero sense. So I think they updated the system, and the system took a day or two to... Yeah, it was there for a couple of weeks. Well, maybe not. There's treasure inside, everybody. Okay, there it is. So there's the X. Get it? X. Hey, I thought that X was on. white before. It wasn't. G corrected me. Thank you, G. There's the treasures or some of it. There's that. Talk about emeralds. Look at that bad boy. Uh, and there's this. But yeah, it is now Robert Frost, as it should be. But if that was a mistake, that's not great. <laughs> but we don't know. We don't know if there was a reason for it or if it was a mistake. So we'll just have to. We're going to well, buy it anyway. person, they wouldn't have a way of knowing. So is that an unfair advantage if it was on? Per I think it was just a boo-boo. Now that we've seen it play out, I think it was just a boo-boo. Yeah, um, that's maybe. an interesting boo-boo to make for the world's well, largest treasure hunt ever known to man or however he's ever We know about mistakes in a book, don't we, Kate Brown? Yeah, but... I can't I complain too much about it. Just to be fair, though, we're not advertising ours as the largest treasure hunt ever known yeah. in the world. <laughs> ours just has a forest and gold coin in it. That's all. No big yeah. deal. All right. No big deal. Um, okay, so that's yeah. the update. And some people have been asking and emailing his team. And his team has been responding, which is pretty cool. So I think Huli put up on our Discord. If someone wants to put the Discord link, we have a place for the invitation. She asked if there's going to be an ebook available. And they have said no. There is not going to be an ebook available. Um, Mike went um, had an exchange with the publisher of Marble is not anywhere any way associated with this book. So as if you don't know, John Collins Black has a uh, children's book and a children's publishing book company. Mm -hmm. um, he co-owns it with a woman named Susan. Susan has let us know. He is doing his own thing and he has set up his own LLC and his own publishing company. Makes for sense. The yeah. So, go ahead. I said makes sense for him to yeah, do that. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. So that is the update on JCB's hunt. Um, the update for uh, Forrest Fen Hunt. Okay, this is still all unofficial because I have not officially gotten anything from Jared yet, but there has been more than one confirmation that we will not be seeing the Netflix doc until um, later in the year. We are not looking at June in any way. Even July or August is um, probably not going to happen. And there it is. All we can do is wait, guys. All I'm waiting for is JCB's book. That's the only thing I know that's going to happen. Well, unless that changes, which it could, but that's about it. The other stuff. Yeah, I'm, if I'm it so happens, interested happens. in what Netflix has to say because I think a lot of people will be outside of NDAs by that point. But by the end of the year, I think we're we. Um, I think everything we have, except for JCB, I have unofficially been told that Olive Jar was open. Jens is including that in his doc, so that'll be fun. Netflix, yeah. I don't think will have anything big, but I do want to hear what Shiloh has to say. And if Shiloh does have a book, um, that would be fun to to see whatever. 
um, his epic answers and fun. I think that'll be interesting, but I think we pretty much know. I hate to say, for those of you hanger honors, I think we know Nine Mile Hole is at least the story we're going to get, whether it's, I actually do believe it, but whether it's that or not, there's no one left to give the story that it's not, because Shiloh has said several times, Jack's the finder, retreat. I mean, it, it's Jack. Um, I don't know. Okay, I think that's it. Anything else? Yeah. Um, no, that's all. Everything fit to print. Okay. Finally, on the invitation, we are going to do a very short show on Thursday just to give a few updates. We hear you. No more hints. No more hints. We get it. 11 days, the World Series of Fen. Wow, it's coming up quick. 11 oh, days. Goodness. Gosh, I got it. I have a lot of stuff to do. I don't even think we need to do a show for Thursday, but we'll see. Um, and if we don't, we'll just put out no show Thursday. Yeah. So, because you guys are working hard on it. People are making progress. Some people are frustrated. Some people aren't. Some people would like clues, but a lot of people don't. So we're going to hold and just kind of wait a little bit. Um, I kind of have a funny one. Somebody asked me, are you at least going to confirm the one picture that someone was text that isn't involved? I said, no, I won't even confirm <laughs> Yeah. Discord will have some pretty funny stuff in it uh, recently. All right. Who confirmed that the olive jar was opened? I don't think so, USA China says. Ooh. I don't know. And that's why it's all rumor at this point, because that's what I had heard. But Right. Interesting. Interesting. I didn't hear it from, well, I was about to say you didn't hear it from Jens, but maybe you did. Hula, you don't want to know. Um, all right. What else? That's it. I got dinner on the stove, so I'm ready to go. Okay. Thanks, everybody. World Series of Fan, 11 days. We're going to get together. We're going to have some fun. And, yeah, let's talk about it. Jump in there, guys. We can talk about whatever you want to in the uh, Speakeasy in our Discord, Kalazar's Grand Adventure. We'll see you there. Okay. Bye, guys. All right. See you, everybody. Thanks for tuning in.